renewable energy within the Army is, is relatively new. Uh, the Army has long known that logistically, in order for us to provide the energy that we need to the points where it has to go in these remote spots, that the cost of that energy is exceptionally high, not only in the material costs, but also in lives. Fort Owen has about 100 of these electric vehicles, and the more electric vehicles come in, the more gasoline part vehicles will be turned back in. We have about 20,000 pounds of, of trash that's produced every day at Fort Owen. We have a test project that takes about 2,000 pounds of trash a day and produces about 1.5 kilowatt of electricity. And if it's successful, we envision having a large scale waste to energy project that will take our 20,000 pounds of trash a day and convert a high amount of either electricity or fuel. Just by forming the tents, it provides insulation so that we reduce the cooling load by half. And that saves a lot of fuel that we're, we're using to power up the electrical generators that we're powering up the cooling units. It's basically a, a foam structure with shotcrete for stability with a concrete slab. It's powered by uh, renewable energy. We've got two wind turbines, two photovoltaic solar panels. We've got a geothermal uh, system that's underground, basically for heating and cooling. And we've got a propane powered emergency generator. The electrical power is used to power up the lights and all the equipment that the uh, unit uses inside as an admin or operations facility. They're doing this to save American families from the hardship that comes from loss of life and limb from their, from their family and friends being injured by carrying fuel out to these remote locations when the use of such items as this can reduce their energy footprint and provide them point of use renewable energies. They're highly portable, highly mobile for the soldiers. Even when they're not directly facing to the sun, we have high efficiencies with these. So you've got on a trailer a portable power station that you can pull up next to a, uh, an area that hasn't even been developed yet. Within the matter of an hour or so, have it set up and be fairly independent from outside energy resources. It gives commanders and soldiers in the field that freedom to do the things that they need to do. They honestly equate every gallon of fuel that is saved to blood from our American service people. I think the thing that impresses me most with my experience with the military as a uh, Marine and soldier, and now working as a Department of the Army civilian, is the way the military seems to be just a little bit ahead of the population as a whole. Again, we've got the resources, we've got the ability to do it. We've, we've also got the spirit of innovation.